Carlisle Racecourse was the base for the opening round of the 2013 British Rally Championship, the Pirelli Richard Burns Foundation Rally. The national event running behind the BRC field had a very special entry, Elvin Evans giving the R5 Ford Fiesta its competitive debut. The idea is just to try and get a bit more mileage on the test programme. We're getting to the point now where we're starting to sign off a few elements of the car and the intention is just to see, we've, we've never had it in a, in a real rally environment so we just want to see how it is and it's a local event which we wanted to support. On the testing we just do miles and miles and miles of, of hard driving but we never get the chance to actually start and stop the car, we never get the, the opportunity to do road sections at road speed. This can find other issues that we haven't had before and uh, as everybody knows when the clock starts the trouble can start as well so we want to try and get ahead of that if we can. Alvin hasn't done a recce for this rally, he's just literally turned up today. So I think it would be uh, a bit remiss of us to be looking for stage times. Uh, it's just a question of getting some mileage and see where we are. The weekend actually saw two rallies in one, with Saturday and Sunday counting as separate events. Three stages in Kielder Forest made up the first day's action, totalling just under 25 miles, and Elvin and his co-driver Daniel Barrett were the first of the national competitors to tackle the opening stage, Pundershaw. Worried by a strong vibration, the pair stopped to investigate, only to find the cause was a broken wheel. A clean run on the next stage was then followed by a puncture on the third, and as the spare had already been used, they were forced to cruise through the stage to preserve the tyre. Overnight rain meant the dust of Saturday had been replaced by mud for Sunday's six stages in Kershop Forest. Running as the first of the National Rally crews once again, Elvin and Dan had a much better start to the day, with no problems on the first three stages. The R5 Fiesta is scheduled to appear in the World Rally Championship later in the year, and so its test programme will intensify as its WRC debut nears. It's already appeared as a course car in the hands of Matthew Wilson, but the pressure of competition brings its own problems, as Elvin and Dan discovered on the way to stage four. A warning light on the dashboard forced them to stop between stages, and while their service crew were able to find and fix the problem quite quickly, the delay meant they were out of time, and so their rally came to a premature end. The car returned to Carlisle under its own power, with Elvin and the team satisfied with what they'd learnt over the two days. You know, coming with a new car, it's always nice to, to try it out in a competition environment, and that's what we've been able to do this weekend. What's so different then about doing a rally as opposed to just doing another test? Well, obviously at a rally you get the, the heat of the competition to start with and, and secondly, there's all the scenarios that comes with the rally, so road sections, um, you know, lazing between stages, keeping to times um, and putting the car basically through a, a rally simulation, um, which you can't very easily do at a test, so it's great experience and great to learn about the car. Well, you mentioned great experience, you're doing a lot of testing now in the R5, enjoying it? Absolutely, uh, I mean it's a fantastic opportunity to be involved with the car, um, doing as much driving as, as possible um, and uh, learning all the time with it, so uh, yeah, very much appreciated for that.